luck. Yeah, the best of luck with that now is pumpkin season, but April Jackson is in the kitchen now to prove they're not just for carving. What are you making today, April? We are making a delicious warming pumpkin soup with a oh, little wow. bit of spice. I have some scotch bonnet for the heat, some oh. pimento, thyme. I mean, it's fab. This not is everything. This it, is going to remind me of my childhood. It is, especially with the ultimate cheese toasty. Okay, I'm so, taking the lid off. I love, I love these dishes. Yeah, they're right? lovely. beautiful. Are they nice? Look they're at that. They're so good. And the smell when you take the lid off just hits you. You just wow. cannot wait to tuck into that. So then it's super simple, which makes our lives even oh, easier. Oh, yes, we right? love simple. We love simple. If it gets too complicated, I feel like you need to be at a restaurant, right? In our yeah. house, it should just be simple and exactly. flavorful. Exactly, simple and good. So... To my pan, I have a little bit of onion and butter. I'm adding garlic, a little scotch bonnet. If you are scared of the pepper, you can adjust it as you want to. Yeah. But don't be scared. Go for it. So you don't, like, cut it up with no. the scotch bonnet. Just pop it pop in. Pop it in and let it kind of simmer with it, and then you can take that out. Yeah. Right? I then get my thyme in, and you just have a minute for that to kind of do its thing. Mm -hmm. then it's gorgeous. It is exactly really good. good. April. You're gonna roast your pumpkin. And the reason why, I always say roast your veg because you get more of the flavor. When you boil vegetables, I feel like most of the flavor is in the water. Oh, so I roast didn't know your veg. Yeah, 100% yeah. roast the veg. Really? You get a lot better, intense flavor. And like roasted pumpkin is just the one, right? So you add your roasted pumpkin to the pan. And then my secret ingredient of why my pumpkin soup is probably better than yours. Yeah. <laughs> Is this? No, it's this little packet. I'm not even gonna lie. Your pumpkin soup is better than mine. Thank you, my darling. It really is. The fact that you've roasted them pumpkins, yeah. I need to do. I'm gonna elevate. You have Don't to you roast worry. it. But then you want this little sachet. So I have chicken stock here, and then this. You know, I don't know what's in here. I just grew up. <laughs> I grew up with this in our kitchen yeah. in Jamaica, like the same exact thing, and you can get it in your supermarket. And I add it to my chicken stock. And I just think it amplifies the flavor. It does have little noodles in there. Yeah. So if you are gluten-free, you have to skip this part. But once you can go for it, like, go for it. It adds just another depth of flavor mm. so that you're not just drinking, like, watery soup. We don't yeah. want to do that. And so I then add that to the pot. And you will just let this have a little bit of time for those noodles to cook. Once those noodles are cooked, you know that you're finished. And it will look something like this, right? Because you also add coconut milk. Oh, so, can I just ask, have you blended that yet or not? So, at this point, I've not blended. No. Right? It's all just in the pan, oh, no. simmering, getting lots of flavour. And then, once those noodles are cooked and your pumpkin's in, that's when you blend it. And when you blend it, you just get, like, this silky, beautiful texture. And it just is so yummy. It's so comforting. It's delicious. I know we're about to get, like, a heat wave, but the cold is coming. And when the cold is coming, this is the time. You've got to warm yourself up. You know, when I'm not very well, that's what I'd have. Really? Yeah. If I didn't feel very well, I'm having chicken soup or pumpkin soup. Yeah. Without a doubt. I'm... And do you know which pumpkins are the best? Sorry to interrupt, no, Joe. But you know them grey pumpkins? The really? Have you ever seen a grey pumpkin? No, no. Sometimes when you go into the shop, look for the grey pumpkins. They're the sweetest pumpkins you've ever come across. I was going to say, not if you can't joking. get pumpkins, you can also use butternut squash. Yeah. Right? You could put that in and you would still get a really, really good good flavorful soup. Oh, I hate carving my pumpkin and, and people throwing it in the bin. Yeah. Like, why, why? There's so many things Such you can waste. do with it. Yeah, 100%. But what I think is also comforting is melted cheese. Mm. Like, I just love a toasty. I love toasties that have the richness and that stretchy cheese. And this is what gives it the stretchiness. So this is mozzarella. And in my pan, this dish is like unctuous, right? There's butter, there's cheese. It's just everything you need in your life and more. And with the mozzarella, I really want to recommend that you don't use sliced, like already grated mozzarella because it doesn't melt as well. The fact that it has to stay separated in your little packet, I'm sorry, you can't be lazy. Just get the ball and just cut it <laughs> because you're, you'll be better for it. You get a nicer, melted, stretchy cheese. And if it's not gooey, is it really a toasty? No, no, it's not real. Is it really a twisty? No. <laughs> so we put the mozzarella on, and then I also get some cheddar and put that. And again, oh, you're not messing around with the cheese. No, are you? no. This is not for the faint hearted. This is for people who are just ready, ready to indulge. I put a bit of cheddar on top, and then I have my pickle. I just find that pickles and cheese are just perfect. I've never tried people. that before. Really? It's really not. I've just mm. tried your cheese toast and it's lovely. And if you're not into pickles, then, you know, a bit of mustard, just something to cut 
a bit of that flavor really, really helps. Yeah. And you, you want to get it thick cut bread. So get bread that you're cutting yourself. You're going to get it lovely and toasted on one side, oh, yeah. butter both sides of your bread, and you put it on, and then you need to get a weight on it, right? Right. Yeah, you need to get the weight on it. So, like, I double pan it. And then that just means that my bread on the outside is getting really toasty and crispy. It also means you don't need any extra equipment because you're keeping it simple. And you can start to smell the cheese melting. I love the smell of like oh, toasted, yeah. melted, slightly bon up. Not really bon up, <laughs> just a little bon up. <laughs> and you're like, yes, you are in the business for like a really nutty flavor. It's just everything. <laughs> it's just a little bon up. A little bon up, <laughs> right? And you get that. And then with the soup, it's the perfect, like, match made Honestly. in heaven. Start dipping and just getting in there. It's everything that you want from, like, warm, so warm, wintry food. Well, honestly, this is delicious. I love these pots that you're putting them in, and I love the toasty with it. Thank you so uh, yeah, much. April, thank you. Very, very much enjoyed that. Delicious. Thank you very much. Uh, you're 